Okay, let's uh, let's get started. Um, we we may be able to finish early so that you can go listen to the end of the Tilia Town Hall if you want to do that. Um, it, there's a possi I'm expecting a delivery. There's a possibility that I will have to briefly interrupt the meeting to run out and sign for something. Um, so uh, let's see. The viewers in process have not changed significantly. Uh, we have a recent update to Bakes on Mesh, I think, and there may be one more of those coming. There's a new EAP build that's in QA now, so I would expect to see that come out uh, the beginning of next week. They are actually whittling down the list of bugs. So we're, we're hoping that that's going to be shorter. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you're, you're welcome to test it. Um, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're whittling them down. Um, and hope to get those things out in the next few weeks. So um, otherwise, there's not a lot of dramatic news at the moment. Um, all the drama is on the forums right now. Um, the Love Me Render got an update. And I think that one is also on the closing in on being completely finished. So we're going to have a we're going to have a, uh, a whole series of releases, most likely fairly close together. Um, we've cool. also and we've also merged 360, which was on the download page, but was about a year old. So we've merged that up, and we're testing it, and we want to get it back up on the download page. Yeah, great. Um, I don't know. Does Love, Love Me Render make arc changes? I don't. I don't know. Um, beer. Love Me Render. Um, not that I know. Yeah, the 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 arc project is is another project, and we do hope to get that rolling again real soon, and actually make substantive progress on it. But uh, I. I'm not even going to try to guess at timing for that. Yeah, Love Me Render is uh, basically the channel that we're using for uh, graphics updates. Currently, anything that touches rendering and isn't EAP goes there, but it's not currently looking at ARC. That's a, that's a later project. And we still have that graphics dev position open. Won't miss a chance to type that. Um, so uh, we are very actively recruiting in that space. Uh, so I think the floor is open. Nothing, no, no other momentous news from our end. I, I hear that Firestorm is closing in on doing an update. Yes? Maybe soon. Oh, good. So singularity. Actually, I had a. I did have another question that Grumpity wanted me to ask. She's off doing the town hall, but uh, she wanted me to ask. One of the things that we noticed was that a lot of the bots, uh, the the bot driver viewers seemed to have trouble when we did the server update that required HTTP downloads for some of the assets that should have been HTTP downloads for a long time. When we deprecated UDP, it seemed to affect the session times for bots. Does anybody have any background on that? I haven't been able to get a hold of anybody who seems to know. 
Uh, I know Singularity also had some difficulties with that, um, but seems to have gotten past it, I think. Yeah, I think it's not so much Radagast as other things that were built on top of some version of lib open metaverse. Yeah, okay. Well, it was worth a try. It threw off some of our statistics, is why I asked. And then we, till we figured out that it was just the bots, or primarily the bots. Uh, we do, we don't have a a number for how much of the population is bots. Partly because we don't have confidence that they're not lying about what they are. Whether we could get the testy region on the beta grid semi-permanently. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Kitty. Oh, it should be there permanently. If it's not, that's... That's a bug to the extent that a DD can be said to have bugs. Yeah, Kitty, our intent was it to was for it to be up and usable anytime. So if it's not reachable, then uh, file a support ticket or or ping me or Kyle take care of it right now there you go yeah i mean the 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 service agreement for aditi is that aditi is deliberately fragile um that is we we do from time to time put test versions even test versions that are just there to experiment with something and doesn't isn't actually necessarily intended to become production ever. Um, we we have been known to put those things out. We wouldn't normally do that with Testylvania, Testylvania specifically, unless we were trying to give you something to test, in which case we'd tell you about it. But, um, you know, the, <laughs> the rule for operations is um, anything that goes wrong with a DD can wait until working hours.
is LL partnered with other companies? I mean, we use capabilities from a lot of other companies, not necessarily as part of Second Life, but um, the one major component of Second Life that's provided to us by a, an outside vendor is voice. It's the only one. We just got a new SL voice from them. I haven't even attempted to integrate it yet, but at some point, Soon we will be doing that. Uh, there, there may well be companies that have sims. I don't know. I mean, I don't keep track of the status of that sort of thing. That would be more the land team's job. Let's see, there was one other thing I wanted to... Check, yeah. Okay, so it... Right. Our, our next third party meeting will be in two weeks. We got lucky this year and it did not conflict with our summer Second Life Summit. So, we're out of phase with that. So our schedule will stay on a two-week interval. All right, let's remember that this is going to be uh, recorded and visible everywhere. And that this is supposed to be not an adult region. Yep. All right. <laughs> It was just the trend I was worried about, not necessarily any specific incident. <laughs> any other uh, any other topics?
the 2017 update uh, is still um, stuck on uh, the changes needed to adapt to boost fiber. Um, we may get something on that this week, um, or we may not because Matt is traveling and he's the one who's got that on his plate right now. So it, it may be uh, a couple of weeks before we get that unstuck if he isn't able to uh, get it done while he's on the road. No, the t town hall is elsewhere. I don't have the location in front of me at the moment. Um, I probably can get it though. There's, yeah, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's basically some small differences in how the scheduling works so that some of the assumptions that have been made mostly as far as I can tell in the in the tests in the viewer build um, were not behaving quite as as uh, as expected and so it made it fail the tests but in general, um, I think that's mostly going to be updates to the tests rather than any change to the coroutine code itself, or at least that's going to be most of it. But we have to get those working. We can't build it without being able to pass the tests. Okay, well, there's something, something worse going on there then. We are going to, we have a, we, uh, as, as uh, some of you will remember, we had another project going for a while uh, and had to suspend it to, to redo the texture fetching, uh, to improve the texture fetching and the viewer cache and the, um, and that, that part of the, the rendering pipe, pipeline. Um, we are going to try to get that project started again, uh, and we'll be experimenting with um, an updated version of the HTTP2 library for that, uh, see if we can get that working, because if it works, it should perform better than what we have now. And hopefully we'll avoid the HTTP pipelining problems we've had with the regular curl library. Yes, that also includes support for higher texture memory. And larger on-disk caches as well. So that's, uh, we're, we're hoping that that will be a noticeable performance improvement. I think it will be more resilient to the interposed scanners. We'll find out. Um, of course, the right thing to do is, the best thing to do is to turn off any part of your scanner that's trying to interfere in HTTP connections um, and whitelist your cache so that it's not trying to scan the files every time you open a texture file. We have seen fairly dramatic performance differences when you do that. Unfortunately, not something we can build into the viewer. <laughs> Nature of the problem.
if Worley wanted to grief us, I would not be optimistic about our ability to defend ourselves. Well, I don't enjoy crashing. That's it's my job to make things not crash. So No other topics today? I could let you all go so you can see if you could get into the town hall. Some improvements to search coming. I don't, it's too early to say how that will be reflected in the viewer, and it's not something that we have a solid timeline for. Uh, we are improving the infrastructure at this point. Um, how soon it will percolate, that improvement will percolate out to visible differences remains to be seen. It is a fairly high priority internal project, but it's not. It's not, uh, it's not going to be visible for a little while. Um, the profiles need a little bit of tweaking before we can um, finish getting them cleanly back into the viewer, but we'll, we're getting that done.
don't, will new profiles also be capabilities based? I, I don't know. Beer, do you know how that's changing? How the interface is changing? Um, I'm not sure if that's all determined yet. There's there's some website changes needed. Um, like the feed needs to be turned into a separate, uh, you know, uh, right API endpoint. Um, the, the the feed part will still be web content, and it will have a tab of its own on the on the profile. I'm not aware of any simulator work to, you know, to add new caps or to change the behavior of existing caps. Um, so as far as I know, everything that's currently going on is just on the viewer side. Um, so yeah, I, I think uh, to the extent that it depends on caps law, that's probably going to be similar to what. If there's a if there's a reason why something that is not a cap now would be better if it was, um, it would be. I'd be more than happy to see a feature request or an, uh, a, a snowstorm issue with a suggestion, or better yet, a contribution. Um, but um, but I'm not I'm not aware of any changes we're making on how that data is being passed back and forth. No, we're not, we're, at this point, we're not planning on getting rid of the feed, just improving the presentation so that it's independent of the rest of the, what is now in the, the web content. Okay, well, if we haven't got any other topics, I'll give you a half an hour back. And if you can go see if you can catch the end of the town hall, you might, uh, it might help you with relieving the anxieties of your of the users of your viewers. Oh, okay. I thought that, it, that we overlapped. I th I, there must be the internal Linden prep session that overlapped with this meeting, not, not the external meeting. No, Grumpy and Patrick are handling that. I don't, I don't need to be there.